guys, my name is Carolina. I'm really excited to be practicing with you again. Um, we'll just do a really simple flow today. Uh, so this will be kind of all-encompassing, a little bit of everything. So hopefully it'll get you moving um, or maybe help you cool down from a bigger workout. Uh, just make sure that you don't have anything around you to run into um, and you have space for your arms and legs. If you'd like music, uh, feel free to turn that on right now. Um, and if you have any props that you regularly use, and you have, uh, feel free to set them aside by your mat. And we'll get started here. So we're going to get started in a tabletop position, just spreading the fingers out wide and placing the hands down firmly. The knees are about hip width apart, you can untuck the toes, and we're just going to take a slow cat and cow. As you inhale, you want the lower belly to drop, dropping the chest. Looking up. As you exhale, the back, the lower back and the tailbone start to round. Take that again slowly, starting from the tailbone. And rolling the spine, opening up the front body space. Exhaling, grounding the back. Dropping the Again, we're going to take that a few more times. Feel free to take this slower, or if you really need it to be faster, you're welcome to do that as well. But I'd encourage you to really take this at a slower pace so you can feel that movement traveling up and down the spine. So you can really imagine that you're trying to spread out the individual vertebrae one at a time, even though we won't be doing that. Every time you inhale, you're opening up the front body space. Every time you exhale, you're rounding the back, tucking the lower belly in, and coming back to stillness. We're going to walk the hands forward just slightly, and then we're going to rock over the hands and rock back to a child's pose. I'm going to take that a few more times. Make sure you're breathing while you're doing this. We're really just trying to warm up the wrists here and the hips a little bit. Now we're going to take this in circles. So you're going to move forward over the wrists in a circle. Take the hips to each side. This one you can take a little bit faster. And then take that in the opposite direction. Really trying to make complete large circles with your body over the wrists. And finishing. We're going to come up. Hands are going to step underneath the shoulders again. This time we're going to turn the fingers out to the sides. I hope you can see that. If that's comfortable for you, you can continue to walk the fingers to face back towards you. We're just going to hold this for a few breaths. Trying not to clench any other muscles in your body here, really allowing your body to relax. You can feel that stretch in the forearms. One more breath here. And then slowly walking the fingers back to face the front of the mat. Awesome work. I'm going to walk the hands out a little bit more and come into our first downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Feet are about hip width apart, not too wide. We're going to pedal out the feet. So you're going to come up onto the toes of one foot, release the heel down. Switching legs. Check in with your downward facing dog here. Make sure the fingers are spread out wide. Your hands can be almost about as wide as your mat. You really want to be pressing down into the palm, that space between the thumb and the first finger. You want to make sure that your elbows are rotated just slightly in towards your face so that your shoulders are resting down your back. 
and you're not clenching your shoulders up by your ears. And then you want to make sure that your pelvis is tilted forward so that your rib cage and your chest are reaching towards your legs back behind you. You want to make sure this, the neck is really relaxed here, the head is relaxed, you can shake it around a little bit. And then if you feel like your heels are really far away from the floor, you're welcome to bend your knees a little bit here, just to start. Take three more breaths here, really indulging in a downward facing dog. Sometimes we don't stay here for very long, we just use this as a transition, but really finding your downward facing dog, really finding your level of comfort here. And then we're going to look forward, so you're going to slowly, one foot at a time, walk your way up to the front of the mat. Bend the knees, shake out the head, grab hold of opposite elbows, rocking it gently side to side, taking a sway. And then dropping your hands down, we're going to sway our way up to standing. Again, taking your time, allowing the tailbone to drop down towards the floor until we find our standing pose, rolling the shoulders down and back, inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands come to heart center. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands to heart center, really sweeping the air around you with the fingertips, reaching as large as you can. This time, exhaling forward, fold. Drop the head down, shake out the head again. Inhale and take a halfway lift. Check in with this position here. Make sure this back is nice and straight and long. And you don't have a curve or a rounding like that. But your back is nice and straight. Exhaling back down. Step the right foot back. Drop the knee down. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling hands come back down. Step the left foot back. I want to move through three different chaturangas here. First one, drop down onto the knees, chest and chin come down to the mat, pull the body forward, walk the hands forward underneath the shoulders, inhaling up, shoulders come down, just barely kind of pressing those hands down into the mat, drop the chest back down, tuck the toes under, come back up onto the knees, push down into the heels, reach the hips up. Inhaling to look forward, step the right foot between the hands, drop the left knee, inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands come back down. Step the left foot, take the right. Drop the head. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down. Inhaling, bending the knees, rolling up to standing. Inhaling, the arms reach up. Exhaling, hands to center. Two more times, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhaling up, this time exhaling, hinging forward at the hips. Drop the head, inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling back down. Step the left foot back. Optional, keeping the knee up off the mat. Inhaling, the arms up. Holding that just for a moment here. Both legs are really sturdy here. Pressing the left heel back, pressing the right heel down into the floor. Exhaling to drop the hands, step the right foot back. Second version of Chaturanga, if you liked that one or the other one, stick with it. Weight comes over the hands, lower down, elbows and close to the body, untucking the toes. Pressing down into the floor with the hands, lifting up again into that cobra, maybe lifting a little bit higher than your first Chaturanga. Opening up the chest space. Exhaling back down, tuck the toes under. Come up either onto your knees, or you can come up into a full plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now take three breaths here. Look forward, step the left foot between the hands. Optional, keeping that right knee up. Inhaling the arms up. Regardless of whether you have the right knee off the floor or not, make sure you're really pressing down into that left heel. And you're pressing the right hip forward, getting a nice stretch there. Exhaling, hands come down. 
Step the right foot forward. Drop the head. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down. Bend the knees, roll up to standing. Inhaling, the arms up. Exhaling, hands to our center. Two more times, inhaling up. Exhaling, hands to our center. Last one, really reaching through the space. Exhaling, forward fold. Drop down over the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down. Bring the feet in together. We're gonna come into a chair. Bend the legs, reach the arms up. Weight should be back in the heels. You should look down and make sure you can still see your toes. Maybe lift up your toes and wiggle them around. Feel that length through the side body. Deep breath in and out. Exhaling, forward fold, straighten the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down. Step your right foot back again. Inhaling the arms up. Again, optional to keep that knee down on the floor. Right hand is going to come down on the inside of the left foot. Reach the left arm up. Deep breath in and out. Place that right hand down on the floor flat. We're going to shift to the outside edge of your right foot and bring the left foot to the right. Side plank. A little bit of strength building here. Deep breaths in and out. Make sure you're lifting this right side up away from the mat. And then shift into your full plank. Last version of Chaturanga here. We're going to rock forward over the hands. This time we're going to lower just halfway down. Make sure those elbows are really close to the body. You're going to flip to the tops of the feet. Press up. Same kind of lift through the upper body. This time you don't have this, that support through your legs, so make sure that you're really lifting in the lower belly here. And then to come back, chin tucks into chest, lower belly lifts, back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. And then looking forward, stepping the right foot forward, optional to keep that left knee up or to keep it down. Inhaling the arms up. Sinking down a little bit lower. Left hand comes down on the inside of the foot. Right arm reaches up. Deep breath in and out. Find the length through your side body here. Make sure that you're not collapsing down towards the floor. And then same thing, we're going to rotate onto the outer edge of that left foot. Bring the right foot to the left. Side plank. This left hip is lifting up away from the floor. Long line from the right hand to the left. And then slowly bring that right hand down. Come back to your plank. Lower down your version of Chaturanga, whatever that means to you. One of those three options here that we just learned. Back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Looking forward, walking the feet up to the hands, bending the knees. Take a sway side to side, either grabbing hold of opposite elbows or just let your hands kind of trail after you. Slowly coming back to stillness, straining the legs, inhaling halfway lift. Exhaling back down. Bring the feet in together. We're going to come up into our chair again. Bend the legs. Reach the arms up. Again, making sure you can still see your toes here. So your weight should be far back in your heels. You should feel that your lower belly is slightly tucked in. But you don't want to be completely tucking under like that. You want to have at least a little bit of a natural, natural tilt on your spine. One more breath here. And exhaling, standing up completely. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands to our center. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands to our center. One more time, inhaling up. 
Hands are center. Awesome work. Take a moment to just stabilize yourself here. Maybe close your eyes. Take note of how your body is feeling. All right, let's continue with our flows. Then take another inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. And dropping the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back down. Bend the knees, coming up in the chair. Bring the hands to our center. See if you can close your eyes in this pose. Again, with your weight back in your heels. Your toes are just slightly lifted up off the floor, so you have your weight out of the balls of your feet. Deep breath in and out. We're going to bend forward just slightly, a little bit more, over our feet, and bring our weight into our left foot, and bring the right leg up. Just balancing here, pressing down into that left foot, and now feel that ball of the foot start to engage as well. Slowly start to step that right foot back into our lunge. Inhale the arms up. Deep breath in and out. We're going to exhale and bring our hands to our center again. And shift our weight slightly forward over that left foot again. We're going to come forward over that left foot again into our warrior three. So if you need to, prepare your block or your book or whatever it is in front of you, or see if you can take this in a full balance. We're going to press off the right toes, and we're going to come to a bent leg warrior three. Take a moment here and check in with your hips. Make sure that they're square, meaning that the hip bone is pointed down towards the floor. You can either point or flex this back foot. We're going to slowly come up to standing. Bring that right knee in, straighten the left leg. And exhaling, shoot that leg back out. You can either bend that left leg or keep it straight. Inhaling up. Exhaling, shoot that right leg back. Keeping the hands on the hips here. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Inhaling up. Last one, exhaling back. Take another deep breath here. We're going to bring our hands back to our center. We're going to come into a standing split. So the fingertips or the hands drop down. The right leg lifts up even higher. If you want a little bit of a challenge here, walk the right hand out. Come onto the right fingertips. Grab onto the back of the left leg and pull the body in closer. Keep reaching that right leg up as high as you can. Take one more breath here. And then the left hand comes back down. We're going to bend the right leg, stay over that left leg, bend the left leg, and cross the right knee back behind the left and sit down. Oh, that probably feels really good. I'm going to take that into a twist. So left hand behind you, right hand over the left knee. Deep breaths in and out. This should be a nice stretch for that left glute that just worked. Keep your gaze following your left shoulder. Deep breaths in and out. And then slowly twist back to the center. Take that twist in the opposite direction for one breath. And then swing that left leg around back behind you. We're going to take this into a pigeon on the other side. So your right leg is out in front of you. If you can make a 90 degree angle here with that front leg, that's great. Otherwise, it'll look a little bit more like mine. You just want to make sure here that this left hip is dialed down towards the floor and you're not opening it up like that. And that that left leg is straight back behind you. I like to take this stretch in a lifted position here because then I'm stretching not just my glute but also my left quad. If you'd like to, you're welcome to also walk the hands forward out in front of you, maybe placing your forehead on your hands.
We're going to take one more breath here. And then come back up onto the hands. Tuck the left toes under and lift the left knee up. Step the right foot back. Lower down through your chaturanga. Again, whatever that means for you. Just making sure you're still using the proper techniques, keeping those elbows in close to the body as you lower down, keeping that lower belly lifted so you're not pushing too much into that lower back space, and keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Pressing back, down or facing dog. Look forward, walk the feet up to the hands. Bring the feet in together, bend the knees. Just take that sway side to side again. And then come back to stillness, inhaling halfway lift. Exhaling back down. Bend the knees, roll up to standing. Keeping those feet in together still. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling hands to our center. We're going to sit back into our chair pose again. Bending the knees, sitting the hips back. Again, you're welcome to try to close your eyes here. Maybe you want to shift your weight down a little bit lower even, sinking down a little bit lower into your chair. Deep breath in and out. And then we're going to look forward and down in front of us. We're going to shift our body a little bit farther down over the legs and shift our weight into our right foot, bring the left foot up. Slowly extend the left leg back out behind you. And slowly step that left foot down. Awesome work. Inhaling the arms up. Deep breath in and out. Finding a strong stance here, especially in that right foot. We're going to go into our warrior three in just a moment here. Again, as usual, if you need to, put a block out in front of you. And here we go. We're going to press off the left toes, launching off that leg. Deep breath in and out, bringing the hands to the hips. Make sure those hip bones are facing down. Start to straighten the right leg. And then bring that left knee up towards you. Three more of those. Exhaling, extending. Warrior three. Inhaling up. Exhaling, extending. Try to keep your gaze in one place so you can keep your balance. Inhaling up. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up. And last one. Release that leg back behind you. Now drop the hands down to the mat. And reach that left leg up even higher. If you want to challenge here, walk that left hand out. Come up onto the fingertips. Reach back behind the right leg and grab it. And pull your body in closer. Deep breaths in and out here. Take one more breath, see if you can lift that left leg a little bit higher. And then exhaling, bend the left knee, bend the right knee. The left knee comes behind the right, sitting down all the way. I'm sure that feels really great after working that leg. We're going to take that into a twist. Right hand back behind you. Left hand is going to come on the outside of the right knee. Find your twist here. Slowly untwisting, twist in the opposite direction, even yourself out. And then release that top leg back behind you, pigeon on the other side. Again, flexing that front foot, stepping the right foot back, long leg behind you. Make sure that right hip is down towards the ground and not opening up, so you're getting the full benefit of that. And then either staying in this upright position, or walking the hands forward over that leg. Deep breaths in and out. And 
and then slowly bringing the upper body up off the floor, hands pressed down into the mat, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up, step the left foot back, last chaturanga today, make it a good one, lowering down, inhaling up, exhaling back, deep breath in and out, sinking the hips back, Dropping the knees, sitting back in your child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here. And then slowly walking the hands back up towards you. We're going to rest on our back for our very last couple of poses here. Bring the knees into the chest. Let's take a rock side to side. And then dropping the feet down to the mat. We're going to take a little bridge here. Pressing the heels down, pressing the palms down to the floor as well. We're going to tilt the pelvis forward as we inhale. As you exhale, rounding the back and lifting the hips up. We're going to hold for three more breaths here. Continue to lift the hip, hips up towards the ceiling. Continue to press the heels down. And make sure that those knees aren't coming out to the sides, but they're still almost magnetized towards each other. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly lower the back down onto the floor. Releasing the hips down. Bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Drop the knees over to the left, bring the arms off to the sides, taking a twist. Deep breaths in and out here, lengthening this right side down and away from you. to bring the knees back up and over to the other side, looking in the opposite direction of your knees, same thing, really finding that length through the left side body here. Inhaling back to center. Awesome work. We're going to extend the legs down the mat. Just let them go. Maybe shake them around a little bit, shake out the hips, shake out the shoulders, until you finally find a good resting spot here, splayed out on the floor. Just let your feet go out to the sides, open the palms up towards the sky. Feel that external rotation in the shoulder, so your shoulders relax down away from the ears. And just remind yourself that you can have a moment of rest here. Really focus on just your breath and just how your body feels before you do anything else today, before you move on with probably your pretty busy life. Just allowing the eyelids to rest heavy and allowing yourself to relax here in this moment. You're welcome to stay here longer, as long as you need, or to do any more stretches. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.